Well, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are in real estate and ready to take your business to the next level, then this video is for you. So today I'm sharing my top 10 tips to get the absolute most out of Bull Trail or KV Core. It's kind of all the same thing. Uh, my favorite CRM for staying organized, generating leads, and closing deals. So these aren't just surface level tips. I'm diving deep into how you can use this platform to work smarter and not harder. Okay, let's get started. Tip number one is set up your profile and preferences. So this may sound like a no brainer, but it's so important. So a complete profile like your photo, contact information, and even your tagline helps you build trust with clients. So Bolter also uses this information to tailor the platform's feature to your needs, like automatically adding your signature to emails and branding to your landing pages. So these things are very important. So a quick tip, you know, any add any awards or certifications or key stats to your profile. It's really a great way to stand out, especially when clients are, you know, they're always shopping around for somebody. So those are great extra things that you can do. All right. So tip number two is to organize your database. So Bold Trail lets you group your contacts into categories like hot buyers, potential sellers, or past clients. You know, but don't just stop there. Use tags that are even more specific. They, uh, they call them hashtags. So for example, tag leads based on where they came from. You know, like your town, a neighborhood, maybe an event, an open house. Um, if they're an online lead, you know, they came from an online lead generation or a referral. It, this makes it really a lot easier to send out targeted messages later and quite frankly, just to remember where they came from, you know, if it's in a conversation. So the next uh, tip, number three, is use the dashboard. This is very important. So think of the dashboard as like your business cockpit. You know, it gives you that at a glance view of everything you need to stay on top of your day, your tasks, your appointments, your new leads, and some key analytics. And very importantly, it, you can also see what are your contacts doing, who's opening up what, and that's really very important to check it every day so you can maybe need to see uh, who to follow up with that day. So um, another quick tip on there is that you can customize, you know, your dashboards. You can add widgets that reflect your daily priorities. You know, you can have like a to-do list, um, you know, up at the top, you can have filters so that you can know what you want to tackle first. Okay. So you can do the filters and you can do such like this. So do customize um, your dashboard. So the next tip, Tip number four is about automating your campaigns. So if you know me, this automation is um, so my wheelhouse. And if you don't know me and you want to know about extremely expert level campaigns that will increase your efficiency, make sure to see the links down in the chats or wherever you're watching this and, you know, check me out online. Uh, if you ever want to just really crush it, you'll want to get my campaigns. And so you can set up a meeting with me or come. I invite you to any of my free live events you can check out all of those on my kimbarber.com website okay so all right back to tip number four about automating your campaigns so bold trails uh, kv core campaigns like i just mentioned they are game changers so you can create an email and text campaigns that automatically adjust based on your leads behavior which is called behavioral automation if you know me you're gonna know that i don't love that part of the feature I don't necessarily like it when they move around on you, but I do love the actual smart campaigns. So for example, you know, you can see that a lead is opening up something or what have you, you can in the behavioral automation, you can have it say, hey, would, are you still interested in this? Or what I like to do in the behavioral automation is set it up so that if somebody favorites a property. So that is my favorite idea about the behavioral automation but the automation of the campaigns, um, I love them because you can automate when it is that your sphere, you can set up tasks so that you know each of the things to do to set up the features, whether it's market reports or check the hashtags or update their address. So you can set these tasks in the campaigns. You can also set up campaigns that, for example, with mine, you can set up automation that's based on when they plan to buy and sell. A lot of people like to set up automation based on if they're a buyer or if they're a seller, and again, my uh, million dollar lead follow-up, it has to do with 
timing and I can set all that up in the automation. So tip number four about automating your campaign, lots of automation, I love it. So the pro tip that you're gonna hear a lot is to create campaigns for buyers, sellers, and past clients. I'm going to agree with them that there are great uh, ones that you can do for a past client so you can have campaigns just for your sphere. And you can have you know, buyer campaigns and seller campaigns you know, specific uh, if you know that they plan to buy. But in general, I like to follow up with people based on time. So if you wanna know more about that, then again, just come to one of my free events. You can set up an appointment with us and you can go to my website to do that. All right, big difference of my thoughts on there. So tip number five is create high converting landing pages. So landing pages are really easy to build in there. They're professional, they're branded, and that they capture the leads. So you can use these pages to showcase listings, you can advertise open houses, you can offer a free market analysis. You can make it uh, a page where they can get a free property search, like homes for sale in a certain school zone, homes like waterfront properties. And it's a really great way to create a sales funnel so that people can look at what, the, what you write on the page and they can get like waterfront homes for sale. They enter their information and then it can be set up to automatically start to send them that information. So one of the tips for this is you always want to have a clear call to action you know something like schedule a tour or download your guide or subscribe you know get your list now so don't forget um, you want to integrate things like um, the email and the phone for sure and then with bull trail there's features that allow you to make sure you get the name if you want to have more advanced sales funnels we actually do also build those for people uh, those are things that will go to the next level of sales funnels these sales funnels are built in here for free so know that you can do those for free or you can make it more advanced which is awesome too so you don't have to do everything all on your own so tip number six is that use the email and the text templates those are a lifesaver when you're busy and those you would want to use inside of those campaigns that I mentioned. So you can use them inside the automation and then you can use them just as a template for the things that you say and you do all the time. So when you're busy, you can have, you know, we write the same email over and over and over and instead you can make it a template and then when you need to send that message, you just go to the email, you pick the template, boom and you can customize it slightly for each lead if you wanna add their name or just tweak it based on something you just said to them or their style or your relationship or what have you. Very cool. So you can use the templates inside of campaigns so that they're like default things that go out. You can do, um, also you can have it for those quick go-to messages which are great. So a tip would be to experiment with the different subject lines in your email templates to improve the open rates. So, and for text, keep it short. I have a very bad habit of sending long texts, but do try to keep them short, friendly, and make sure to give them an action item in there. And another great thing is that if you are comfortable with video, you can embed videos in there. If you want to use the, um, the bomb bomb as a product, then you can add those in there, which is really helpful for the open rates and the interactions with people with both email and text. So tip number seven is about tracking the leads behavior. So this is one of Bold Trail's most powerful features. It shows you what properties they're viewing, which emails they're opening, and even what links they're clicking. So knowing this helps you tailor your follow-up strategy. It's in that dashboard. One of the, the most visible places that you can go do it is when you go to your dashboard and you're looking at all your contacts, you can see who's opening up what. You open up, you go to that contact record and you can see the colors. Like if the little email icon turns blue, it means that they've opened it up. And then on the dashboard also, it does start to show these different icons about who's opening up, what text calls, all of that stuff. So it's very, very helpful. So use these insights to prioritize your outreach. Um, for example, if a lead has been looking at the property a whole bunch of times, you know, reach out to them, pick up the phone, send them the text, do both, you know, pick up the phone, then send them the text if they don't answer um, so that you can talk to them about scheduling a showing or what's attracting them to that property. So that's awesome. So tip number eight is really about leveraging the AI for lead nurturing. So Bull Trail and KV Core, they've now integrated some AI tools uh, throughout. And so they do have the AI tools that can automate the follow-ups. They can suggest the best times and even predict 
which leads are most likely to convert. So it's like having a personal assistant, but I always like to say, remember that AI is not going to replace you, but they do have all these tools that are really helping to have you see, you know, what's going on with your clients, who is most likely um, going to buy, who's interacting with you. So let AI handle a lot of these repetitive tasks, uh, but, but add that personal touch and make sure that you're there when the client is ready. So you're always paying attention to everything. All right, so tip number nine is about sell, setting up those follow-up reminders. They are so, so important. So staying top of mind with leads and, and uh, clients is crucial. We know this in real estate. And Bold Trail really makes it easy because you can schedule reminders for emails, for calls, for check-ins. One of the things that you're gonna wanna make sure that you do is connect your Google Calendar with in your Google email with the uh, Bold Trail. So it's a really easy thing to do. If you haven't done it yet and you've been using Bold Trail or Kiwi Core, go ahead and make sure you go back and set that up. If you're new to doing it, please make sure you set that up to integrate together. It's really easy. It's right in the top right hand corner of the website. Just go into the help and, um, and, and they'll guide you through it. Don't though, I do not encourage you to download all your contacts with Google. So if it asks you to do that, do not contact, download all of your contacts on your phone. I do not think that's a good idea. But going back to the follow-up reminders, it's great because when you make a call and then you know they're on the phone and say, hey, can you call me back at six o'clock and you're using the dialing feature inside of Bold Trail, then you actually can say, you know, set the next call and it'll put it on your Google Calendar if you have it there, which I love. So the other thing is that, you know, you can set reminders for past clients, like a simple anniversary message and things like this for down the road. So these are really helpful, you know, when you're closing out the deal and you can set this yearly reminder and things like that. So it does have a variety of different ways that you can set reminders and schedule those calls and things like that. And so that it can see in your day to day what you're doing. So the last thing is um, measure your success. So that is the last step is about Bold Trails reporting and the analytics. Okay, so use these reporting tools to see which campaigns are working, which leads are converting, and where you're getting your best return on investment. So you wanna review your reports weekly. Um, this helps you really stay top of mind with your performance and helps you, you know, make some data-driven decisions to improve. Now, not, it might sound kind of techy, but let's face it, you just wanna see like, do you, are your new leads stockpiling? You know, are you making all of your calls? Do you have a bunch of leads that are like not having phone numbers and so that you can go through and clean those up so you can put filters to see that kind of things. All of these reporting and analytics are very important for you to see. Um, Bull Trail is improving their analytics. KV Core will move to Bull Trail. They'll get a lot more analytics. Um, and this is really important, especially if you have a team. So that's it. That's the 10 tips to master bull trail and boost your real estate success. Um, I'd love to know which of the tip are you going to try first. Maybe there's some things you would love to know more and you want me to dive deep into. So go ahead and let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, if you found this helpful, uh, please give me the thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you the next time.